don't want to look like Boo Boo the Fool, baby. I'm not finna let you go out like that. She got the rats and roaches. She got the brown bricks. She got the freezing cold. She got the hollow tips. Hey beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Maisha Chantel. If you're new, welcome, welcome, welcome. And I hope you continue to stay and grow with me and my channel. But if you're returning, you're an OG. Welcome to the family. We lit up in it be. <laughs> no, seriously. If you want to become a part of the notification game, make sure you subscribe to my channel, like this video, comment below, turn in your post notifications. And follow me on my personal Instagram at Maisha Chantel because it goes down on it, Instagram, down on it, Instagram, down on it, Instagram. Da, 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 da. <laughs> I'm so, I'm really hyper, but yes, it really goes down on my Instagram. Like, that's where I post all the juicy information, the Q&As, the polls. Like, you can DM me questions. I got you. I'm going to respond back. Give me at least 48 hours, though. Seriously. But y'all know I had to come back again with another MPHC tea talk because every time I take a poll on YouTube, y'all be like, do MPHC tea talk. I'm going to do one. Y'all just got to keep giving me topics because y'all are high and dry in the comments. When I tell y'all to comment below of information that y'all want me to cover, because I'm slick and open book. Some things I won't discuss, of course, because of privacy um, when it comes to NPHC T-Talk. But a lot of things I'll be open to discuss. So yeah, just drop, drop the topics below. Drop them in the comment section. But let's get into this video, okay? As you can tell in the title below, it's just what type of information do you need to know before joining a Greek organization? Or what type of information should you know? Yeah, should you know before trying to join that Greek organization? Because you don't want to look like Boo Boo the Fool, baby. I'm not finna let you go out like that. I'm not finna set you up, okay? So the information that I'm a, that I'm going to be telling you guys, this is just like a very, very broad spectrum. This can go towards fraternities and sororities because it's really basic information, information that you can find on that particular organization's official website. I'm not giving you any type of well, I'm going to be giving you some details, but you can find that on the chapter's website as well. But everything can be found on the internet. That's basically what I'm saying. Okay? Put the notes in my phone so if y'all see me looking down, it's because I'm trying to stay on topic. Okay? So, the most important, the most important, if you don't know nothing else, you better know this. Know when that organization was founded and where when I mean the date and where for example Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated was founded on Wednesday January 15 1908 on the campus of Howard University in Minor Hall I just gave you the date I gave you where and then I put in an extra detail a particular in Minor Hall Literally, you can find that information on the national website. If not, and you, even if you can't find it, I know you've been to some probates and they done spit that information for you. That's the most important. You need to definitely know the founding date and the founding place. Because if you don't even know that information, you don't got a chance, baby. You don't got a chance. They're going to be like, no, we don't want you. I wouldn't want you part of my organization if you don't know that, that information. But on to the next. The next one is you need to know when it was incorporated because people fail to realize the incorporation date is different from the founding date. Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated was incorporated on January 29, 1913. So it was incorporated couple years later after it was founded okay you should definitely know the incorporation date 
because every organization has an incorporation date, if I'm not mistaken. But if they don't, then you don't got to know that information. Another thing you should know, who are the founders and the incorporators of that organization? Don't just know one, know all of them. Like if you can memorize all of the founders and incorporators, that'd be great. A lot of organizations don't have that many founders in incorporated or incorporators, but I think the most Alpha Kappa Alpha and Delta Sigma Theta, I think they roughly have the most founders and incorporators. So if you don't want to be a part of those two organizations, you really don't got to remember that many people. Okay. Another one is know the model. The model you can find on the national website. Know their model because that's just like important information. It's given information because you don't want to be asked, oh, do you know our motto? And you don't know the answer. And then Billy Joe or Ashley sitting beside you, they know the motto. I'm going to pay attention to the person that knows it instead of the person that doesn't know it. Okay. So it just make it just makes you look like a better applicant. So definitely know the motto. Another one, if you, well, if they have this one on the national website, because I know um, Alpha Kappa Alpha does, then know it as well. Know the symbol. Know the symbol of that organization. If they don't have it on the organization, typically they're not going to ask you any type, anything towards the symbol if they don't know um, have it already on their um, website. The another one is know the colors. This is another given. This is common sense. This is basic. Like everybody know, aka is technically pink and green, but they actually have the official colors on the website. It's um, salmon pink and apple green. Like if you're trying to become a part of Alpha Phi Alpha, I don't know their colors, colors, the name of it. But everybody know it's like a gold and black, but they probably have like a acronym or something before the gold and black. But just know the covers. Like I said before, you can probably find that on the national website of that organization. Another one is know the international president and vice president. You need to know who's the head of these organizations. Especially when you're trying to join it, it just makes sense. Another common sense. You can also find it on the national website. Um, and then this is where it gets down to the chapters and getting personal with the chapters. Um, definitely know when the chapters were chartered and who are the charter members. Some chapters have a website where you can, they list all this information, but if they don't have the website, then I'm guessing it's not that important to know the charter members, but definitely know the charter date. It's going to be said at probate. So if you've been to some probates, you will hear them say it. And another one is, if you don't know all of the previous lines before you're trying to join it, at least know that the previous line before, like that one line before, because it wouldn't make sense that you don't know who came before you, who, or you don't know who paid the way, paved the way for you. You look stupid if you don't know that information. Me, see, we had to know like all of the lines, like going down from the line name to how many was on that line everything it just made you look like a better candidate and know when they i guess crossed or pledged that semester but that's basically it all the information i just covered that's common information that's information that you can find on their national website so if you don't know the basic information, you're not going to be a good candidate. And it doesn't take that long to memorize a lot of stuff. Now, you don't have to memorize the Greek alphabet because at the moment, 
but definitely you'll definitely have to remember it and it's easy to remember the information like the greek alphabet i can like say that shit with my eyes closed like alphabet again my delta epsilon zeta eta theta iota kappa lambda mu nu zam compi will sigma tau upsilon phi chi sigma omega alpha easy and so that's why i mean like you memorize the information because once you memorize it it'll just come to you and it'll be easier on you when <laughs> but anywho i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you guys give this a thumbs up if you would like to see more content on mphc tea talk just drop comments in and put um uh, topics that you like for me to discuss and i will you know make a video get a tea to y'all because that's what y'all like y'all love my mphc videos but thank you guys so much for tuning in again make sure you subscribe like comment and turn on your post notifications and don't forget to follow me on my personal instagram at maisha chantel and i will see you guys next time